and ready to go back at it. <clears throat> Deacon St. John. Hey, you Sarge. Oh, good, good, good choice, gotta say. A uh, good piece of equipment right there. <laughs> yes, sir, that, that, that's a good one. All right then. Uh, see, see you, Corporal. Deek. How's my favorite Corporal doing today? Hey, you Sarge. I got the gate. Deacon, uh, Corporal St. John. Good to see you, man. Hey, Sarge. Deke, uh, Corporal. Uh, see you, man. Go, go. Hey, what's going on? Captain? Dr. Jimenez has been murdered. What? You're the son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. Slit his throat from here to Where's here. Where's Taylor? Did, did Taylor see anything? All the narcotics in the camp are gone. Taylor. This one's on me. I assigned him to the infirmary. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying Taylor was a junkie. You knew? Doesn't matter anymore. This day, as the sun sets on this island, 
It also sets on the life of a great man. Captain Arturo Jimenez. Doc, to many of you, is gone. Taken from us on the eve of our great victory. Captain Jimenez was murdered, slaughtered. His life ripped from him. His blood, even now, soaks the tent where he toiled, hour after hour, tending our sick, our injured, our wounded. The great tragedy here is not that a good man needlessly lost his life, though for that I am indeed very sorry. The great tragedy here is that he could not be replaced. Dr. Jimenez was the only trained physician in our ranks, perhaps in all the world. My eyes have been opened. I see now the great mistake we have made. We have filled our Ark with books and seeds and discs. Medical journals, medical books and encyclopedia we have in spades. But who now, when this terrible war is over, will teach us how to use them? Journals can be replaced. Books and encyclopedia can be replaced. Dr. Jimenez. Our only doctor cannot be replaced. I go now to grieve in yeah. no. I suggest you do the same. Company dismissed. Who the hell is huh, Eddie Apuna? Oh, I'm just gonna close my eyes for a bit. Corporal in command. Curry, come in. Corporal St. John to Captain Curry. This is Curry. Hey, uh, I'm gonna go after Taylor. Several patrols have already been sent out. The Colonel's furious. Yeah, I'll bet. The doc was a good guy. Captain Jimenez was the only doctor we had. Look, Taylor mentioned something about heading up to the ski lodge. I'm gonna go there and see if I can find him. Radio me if you do. Corporal, the Colonel wants Taylor alive. Yeah, copy that. St. John out.
Corporal Deacon St. John. Hey, Sarge. How's life? Yeah, okay. Hey, Corporal St. John. I'll catch you later. St. John, come in. I have a job for you. Colonel, yes, sir. I'll be there ASAP. St. John out. St. John, you there? Yeah, Weaver. I'm here. Uh, hey, come to man. Listen, I never said thank you for helping me out of it. And look, I'm just following orders. Well, I'm gonna thank you anyway. I really appreciate you going out and shit. Risking your neck for me. And dude, this napalm shit's almost good to go. We're gonna need you to help test it pretty soon. Yeah, sure, Weaver. Uh, Jim. Yeah, I'll be around. Deacon out. Gotta be close to a nest. Whew, I can smell it. I smell it. Let's take a look around. Which way? Back on track. I gotta find a way inside. St. John. How are we doing, Taylor? <laughs> that fucked up, man. They didn't mean to kill him, man. He wasn't supposed to be there. I... <laughs> the doc was a good guy, man. He fucking, he fucking helped me. He helped me. Come on, get up. No. 
I don't want to hang, man. <laughs> I don't want to hang. I don't want to hang. I, I don't want to. Hey, listen to me, Taylor. Taylor. <laughs> you kick and you kick Wade. and you shit yourself. All those fucks standing at attention. <laughs> and they're laughing at you. Man. They're laughing at you. I don't want to hang. I don't want to hang. Please. Don't let them hang me. John. In here. Overdose. God damn it. Bring the body outside. I don't care what a man's done. We never leave him for the freaks. I can tell you right now, the Colonel's not gonna be happy about this. Well, when we found him, he was already dead. Overdosed. We recovered most of the drugs, not all. As if the world hasn't seen enough corruption and decay. As if the world isn't already filled to overflowing with mindless, soulless creatures. Take these to the infirmary. And this time, Assign someone who isn't a goddamn junkie. Yes, sir. Hey there. Nothing. Corporal St. John, we have a situation that I think you can help us with. Okay, sir. One of our soldiers has been taken hostage. Sergeant Melinda Foster, in charge of patrolling our eastern border along the 97 corridor. Her squad was ambushed. Two men made it back alive. Sergeant Foster was taken. Melinda Foster. Do you know her? No, sir, I don't. I've marked her last known location on your map. I have full confidence, Corporal, that you will return her safely. You can count on me, sir. Dismissed, Corporal. Deacon, are you there? 
you there? Deacon and Sarah need to talk to you. What's going on? Uh, yeah, hey, I'm here. You sound kind of cheerful. I had a breakthrough. Look, all I needed was that DNA sequencer. I'm ready to test it. Deacon, I'm ready to test my serum. Wow, okay. Um, what do you need from me? I'll tell you when you get here. Sarah, out. Nothing. Like, it's gotta be hers. Bunch of murderers and vagrants. We'd just as soon shoot you as look at you. <laughs> Colonel, Corporal St. John reporting in. Sir, I'm at that location and the uh, camp appears to be empty. Sergeant Foster's life is in your hands, Corporal. Don't let me down. Nope, sir. I'll find her. Just another day at the office. Come on, open, open, open. Got it. How are you doing, Sarge? How's your day going so far? Jesus, Corporal, thank you. It's going great, just great. Do you need a lift back? You see a militia bike out front? Or did the bastards part it out? No, no, it's still there. Okay, I'm good then. St. John, right? Thank you. I can get back on my own. <laughs> 